What's up everybody, this is GamerCJE, welcome back to City Skylines. Today we're going to be back here in Stockton, and we're going to be checking out the Forestry DLC content in the, in the, uh, what's it called? I guess just the Industry DLC, but we're going to be checking out Forestry. We already checked out the farming specialization in that DLC, and it's pretty awesome. So it's time to check out Forestry. Now, I did kind of set it up in the last video so that I have a pretty high demand for jobs, and we're gonna take advantage of that. So I already have a specialization area mapped out here for forestry, and now all we have to do is build a forestry main building. And I'm gonna build that right here where these roads meet. And now we're gonna be able to build a sawmill, small tree plantation, and small log yard. So I'm going to build this with just, uh, actually I think I'm gonna erase this little thing right here and from right here, I'm going to start building the little tree farms and hopefully they're gonna fit where I want them to be yes they are okay oh no I don't want to get rid of this rock so what I'm gonna do is use the move it mod and I believe I'll be able to move this Maybe, hmm, I thought I might be able to rotate it, but it doesn't look, so I'm going to just move this one down that way a little bit, and there we go, hopefully, hopefully now it won't mess up, it won't, awesome, alright, now I'm going to need to add in my water so that all this stuff has water, that and before we even get really started on the rest of this I want to add in a storage area maybe with an actual road instead of using the dirt road and I'm going to put the log yard maybe two of them actually right there and toss in a whole bunch of the forest so they'll fill up the log yard there we go and now I'm gonna put in the industry road over here and on the industry road is where we're going to put our sawmills and pellet plant and all this kind of stuff and we're going to start out with four and now let's just see how this goes Probably need water over here as well. Yeah. There we go. And let's have all these be sort of the same thing. Now, I guess it doesn't hurt anything for them to be different looking. So we'll just leave them be. And unfortunately, what I didn't want to happen is what happened. As you can see, all the stuff that I produced is going out of town, which means that these are gonna get filled up 
by ordering out of town stuff, which is not what I wanted. So now this is going to be negative in the extreme because all this stuff is coming into town. So that's going to get real expensive because it's going to import a whole bunch of logs that didn't need to be imported because I could have just grown it. That's something I'm not a big fan of how this uh, how this industry DLC works is they don't seem to have a good balance on how to how to use these stockpiles or there is a good chance that I just am not good at using it. That's a definite possibility definite possibility and as you can see at the moment we have pretty good traffic everything's flowing pretty well now we have level two so we can do the biomass pellet plant we can have a furniture factory and forestry worker barracks and some other stuff so let's check all that stuff out so this one, it looks like it's still the small, but maybe it, it looks like you get more, you get better production is what it looks like. Now we need to build a biomass pellet plant. Ooh, can we fit two? We can't. That's a bummer. Oh, well. All right. Now, the other thing we can check out is in unique factories. This requires uh, plain timber and paper, and we're already producing those. And we can also build the bakery. But we can't build the lemonade factory because we don't have glass. So we'll have to wait until we get into the ore specialization for that. And that's probably going to be a little while. But as you can see right now, we're taking plain timber and paper and turning it into furniture, which is a finished good, which means that we can take it straight from this furniture factory and it's going to go to our commercial areas, commercial blah, blah, blah like over here and it can get sold directly to the people and we get all of the profit because it comes directly from our forestry area to our commercial district. So we get the money and the taxes. So pretty sweet deal. And we're coming up on uh, level three forestry area pretty quick. We should really uh, jump up our farming area as well here. Let's throw in a milking parlor. Maybe two of them. And that'll probably make it so we get to level four on our, on our farming area. And we're just about to hit level three. So we're about to hit two level ups kind of right at the same time here. So this is our agriculture area, farm maintenance building, large barn slaughterhouse, and a clothing factory. Let's see what the clothing factory needs. And there's our level three clothing factory. So this is plastic and paper. Oh no, that's paper, printing press. Clothing factory, so that's plastic crops so plastic is under the oil specialization which we haven't done yet and won't be doing in this video so those will just have to wait a little bit now let's go back to forestry we now have the medium tree plantation and more storage i guess we had put in a couple barracks So the barracks increases work efficiency in the farming area, as well as adding more workers. So we should also be able to put in 
a couple medium crop fields or not crop fields uh, tree plantation but once we get to the large uh, plantation we have the opportunity to have a greenhouse I think or maybe that's this one I think that's this one all right so now we're just sort of waiting to get to 4500 uh, resources produced and uh, we'll be right back once that happens So we are now at a level four in our forestry area. We now have the engineered wood plant, soft paper factory, wood chip storage, forest forestry maintenance building, large tree sapling field. Now I'm probably not going to get to level five in this video because I, as you can see, you have to get to 13,500 uh, produced resource units to get to level uh level five here but we will build some of the level four items so we've got the large tree sapling field which as you can see produces 9600 units per week and the best one before was 6400 we also now can put in the engineered wood plant which is going to be a lot more efficient than anything else that we had before but and uh, let's see where's a good place to build some more forests i think that we should maybe just kind of go like this <laughs> cheat a little bit and uh build them over here but keep the traffic away from these intersections and i think i'll be happy with that make sure our water comes all the way over here and now let's build some of these sapling farms and the two options here are greenhouse and field and i prefer the way that the fields look so i'm going to go ahead and change all of these over to field yeah i really prefer the way that that looks all right now we are in the green making profits which means that we are pretty well balanced we are producing more raw forest products than we're using raw forest products in the production of paper and plain timber so we're in a pretty good spot we have advanced to one two three four five we did, we have advanced to level five in our agriculture area and we are making money in here as well we're pretty balanced so we have completed well sort of i'm not gonna wait here to get to level five on the forestry area in this video but we have pretty much finished out the forestry and agriculture so in a future video we're going to check out the ore industry and the oil industry and uh then at some point, we're going to check out also the financial district, which isn't really an industry, but it is similar in that you're going to be using individual resource or individual assets, I believe individual assets sort of like this, to have a way to make money. So in that way, it is similar to these industry specializations in this DLC. But that's going to pretty much do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like and subscribing and join me next time.